Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in seeing what I made for this week, then just keep on watching. For project number one, I'm starting off with these wood blocks and I'm gluing them together with my wood glue. I like to let the wood glue sit for a little bit and then wipe it off. I'm using this premium black acrylic paint that I purchased from Dollar Tree to cover my wood blocks. Once this piece dries a little bit, I'll go over it with a second coat. And while this is drying, I'm going to go on ahead and work on project number two. I'm using that same acrylic paint for my canvas. I'll also go over my canvas with a second coat. While those items are drying, I'm going to go on ahead and cover all my foam balls with my thumbtacks. This step is fairly easy. All I'm doing is pushing the thumbtacks inside the foam, overlapping them just a little bit. This is how they turned out and I left these open spaces so I can be able to glue them to my wood blocks. Next, I'm using these rectangular mirror tiles that I purchased from Amazon. The link will be down below in my description box. These are self-adhesive, but since I continuously use these, I'm going to add a little bit of glue. I love how this modern wall decor turned out. Let me know down in the comments if you would recreate this. To glam up my canvas, I'm using this gold metallic tape that I purchased from Amazon to create geometric shapes. This tape doesn't adhere to my canvas 100%, so if you are going to recreate this, then I suggest you use a little bit of glue on the ends so it can stick over time. Now I'll be filling three different spaces with my thumbtacks.
this turned out actually pretty good. Let me know down in the comments if you would recreate this. For this last and final project, I'm just using my foam board and my decorative mirror along with my silver sharpie to trace this and then cut it out with my X-Acto knife. This part was a little challenging, but if you take your time, you'll be able to do it. This part was a little challenging as well, but I like to cut on one side flip it over and then cut on the other side so it can be easier for me to pop the shape right out. Although I'm gonna cover this entire shape, I'm really focusing on covering the edges. I'm starting off by placing all the thumbtacks around the edges first. If you are going to recreate this, then you might want to add a second foam board since the thumbtacks do stick out of just one foam board alone. I decided to add this round mirror and I'm just going to finish completely covering my shape with my thumbtacks. I enjoy creating all three of these wall decor pieces and I love how they turned out. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.